Yo, what? Good, everybody listening, everybody tuning in for your digest, your daily, it's not daily job, you guys know the daily digest books, we're not doing that daily digest, we're not trying to read anything, we're just trying to listen, open your ears, we're going to dive into it. Today, we're starting off back with a classic, I think it's just become a norm that we usually do for the show, and that is the Reddit article not the reddit art not the reddit articles the trending the discover reddit articles uh from the front page i don't even i mean is that what we're gonna call them the trending communities as they say trending communities on reddit you know i think it's episode 10 uh so maybe we should do do something about the new year uh a little bit later on the show it's 2019 now, not 2018. You you guys know I hate odd years, so we'll see how this year is going to fly with me, fly with the Joe show, and honestly, just come fly with us, and you're going to be cool. So let's get it done. Trending communities on Reddit. The first Reddit topic, the first subreddit, as they say, is... is is it bullshit and you guys can be the judge of this i'm not really sure is it bullshit or not is it is it real is it fake let's see what we've got on here let's click on the sort by hot because uh we're trying to get real spicy up in up in this podcast real quick all right is it bs people tending to take long or hot showers Replace warmth, love, and human contact with them. What? What does this even mean? I've read multiple... This is, this is what the person said. I've read multiple times that people taking a long time in a shower, a hot shower, are lacking human contact and love. Oh my gosh. At first, I thought this was BS. But I've read it so many times now, I'm starting to doubt it. Okay. We've got a weird looking ad over there, so I'm going to close that. Okay, let's get down to it. Believe everything you read, people. Everything you read on the internet is true. If you didn't hear it when you're 14 years old and, and, and 10 years old and in kindergarten, believe it now. No one will lie to you ever. Uh, is it BS that people taking long times, a long time in the shower lack human love and contact is this bullshit i don't even this is a rhetorical question you guys can answer this one for yourselves let's see what the next one is though is it bs drinking or eating soy products increases estrogen in humans and causes feminization are you kidding me this is nuts okay so somebody did the research from sciencedirect.com and they say, while it's true that soy products contain isoflavonins, isoflavonins, <laughs> I don't know what that is, which is which mimic estrogen, it is fairly weak compared to estrogen, and unlikely to harm in the amounts normally consumed. Okay, so if you're afraid of soy, don't be. Soy is good, good stuff, you know. Uh, the next one, is it BS? Is it BS? Loneliness, loneliness, is as bad for your health as smoking. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this. I think it's worse. I really think it's worse. Being lonely is like being trapped, and smoking you can do it with other people. And I guess, in the long run, if you smoke for ten years or you're alone for ten years. Which one's going to kill you first? I would likely have to say that being alone would do some serious damage to your mental health. That's all. That's all I've got to say there, bud. Um, Somebody says both are very bad for you, but in somewhat different ways. And I would have to agree. Your your mental health is more affected by loneliness versus. You know, alcoholism, smoking, obesity, that's all physical. So, hmm, 
I don't think that is BS. I think loneliness is just as bad, if not worse, than smoking. Next up on Is It BS? Aspartame causes cancer in humans. Not dogs. Not cats. Not any sort of feline or canine. Not any reptile. Not any insect. Arachnid. In humans. Does aspartame cause cancer? Well, we have one comment. We have a single comment for Is It BS? And this person says, utter bullshit. There was one study that was popularized, popularized this idea. Holy moly, this person's English is not where it needs to be. There was one study that popularized, I cannot say it, popularized? popularized this idea by noting an increase in brain tumors shortly after the introduction of aspartame to foods. But this study was quickly discredited when it was shown that the increase in brain tumors had actually started years prior to the introduction of aspartame. So if you're trying to get away from that nasty looking caffeine, sugar, soda, pop, drinks, uh, don't worry that aspartame is is going to cause you cancer. Like you don't have to worry when you're drinking your fresca. Uh, the the aspartame in your fresca is actually really good for you and probably makes you really fit. If you couldn't tell, I really don't like soda and I never drink it. Water is life, everybody, and that is not BS. Water is life. I got some water with me right now, by the way. Why don't I take a little swig? Mmm. That's good stuff. Next up on Is It BS? Working out at a young age stunts growth. Hmm. You know, I was thinking about this, and it's actually true, I believe. Or this is what I've heard, you know. You never know what if you if you can believe what you hear, but... I've heard that running long distance, you know, races like marathons, half marathons and training for long distance running actually stunts your growth if you do it before the age of 21 or 25. I think it's more of an old person thing to run marathons. Somebody can fact check me on that, but let's see what what the people say. This person is 17 now and started training in the gym at 14. So I guess for this, is it BS, you know, working out is different than exercising, maybe. And working out is more like going to the gym and like getting beefy. They continue, I've built quite a bit of muscle and I'm proficient. I'm a proficient power lifter. Why? You're 17 years old. All right, never mind. Sorry. Okay, no offense to this guy, but... All right, but I'm a measly 5.8.5. I like how they added a point five at the end. I'm a 5.8.5, Uh That's about, you know, 60, 68 and a half inches, if, if you want to do the math. Uh, is it true that training with weight may have contributed to my short stature. Oh my god. Oh my god. This person is... This person's a loony. I gotta say, they're a loony if they really think that. They... I think they're under the assumption that their huge muscle mass is, is the reason why they're short. Or actually, truly almost above average. They are above average height. Um, so that's just common culture. Uh, putting a dent on the short, on the short, the short people, people are average height. Basically, if you're not six foot or over, you're weird and short. When in reality, I think the average is five, seven for a male. The average height for a male. Let's Google it. Okay, it's five foot nine. Oh my gosh. Five nine. So sad. So sad that we all think that we should be tall. 
Really quite sad. So in England, it's 5'9". Five, five, Denmark is 6 foot. My gosh, the Denmark, the Denmark, the, the Danish. The Danish are a tall folk, but their women are tiny. Hmm, let's see. The United States is actually the, the kind of tallest um, of, 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 most, of most of the countries. Let's see. On average, the women are 5'8 and a half, I guess. So I guess this guy might be right. He's a little bit short, but he's only a little bit. I would say the average is about 5'8 on Earth. 5'9s, I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, but 5'10 is the average on this article. This is the Washington Post. Apparently, the Neds, the Netherlands... Their men are six foot on average. Well, I would not want to be there because I would get picked on. I would definitely get bullied. I'm about 5'9". I would get bullied there, being average height. Their women are 5'4", though. I could bully the women, so that's okay. Let's see. What else? Who else? Who else? Sweden is 5'8 for men, 5'6 for women. Norway is 5'10 for men, 5'6 for women. Canada... 5.10.6, it's a little bit higher than America's 5.10.5 for men, but their women are about an inch shorter at 5.7, five, 5.7 seven, five, seven flat almost, just about 5.7 flat. I think that's kind of interesting. Let's let's check out Asia though. What, what, what's Asia looking like? So, uh, uh, oh God, this is in centimeters. Do you guys, I'm just going to read them out. I don't know how tall these are in centimeters. Uh, we'll just do the male. Singapore, 170. Thailand, 170. Malaysia, 166. Uh, all the way down to the bottom, Indonesia, 158. Let's see what 158 centimeters is in inches. It's about 6 foot 2, y'all. 6 foot 2. So if you live in Indonesia... You got to be better than six foot two, and you're better than average. If 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 being taller is even better, being shorter is honestly healthier. Like for your back, maybe not digestion, maybe something you know, in, in physical strength. But you don't really need physical strength these days. So Indonesia, one fifty eight. That's a six sixty two inches. All right, Singapore, one seventy centimeters. How tall is that in inches? 170 that's 66 so basically asia is just getting wrecked out there you know just getting absolutely wrecked guatemala women average at 411 411 folks all right so like this this guy is, is kind of sad he's sitting at 58 well at least he's not a woman in guatemala who's 411 <laughs> like that. All right. Honestly, that's not healthy. <laughs> Being four eleven, can you imagine that? You're like a dwarf. You can fit through little doors. No offense to the people in Guatemala. You know, power to them. It's honestly probably healthier than being six foot nine. But you know, they got little doors down there. All right. So back, back to the is it BS? Working out at a young age stunts growth. Well, some somebody says this is BS. Hmm. Another person says BS. Another person says is it? it it's a myth. It's a myth. With it's fugazi, fugazi. It's BS. The first comment, the top comment, old myth that has been debunked. How tall are your parents? Genetics plays the biggest the biggest role in your height, and you may still grow. It's rare, but not unheard of. Hey, folks, if you're under the age of 20, you're not done growing necessarily. I definitely stopped growing, bef you know, around 19, maybe 17, but not everybody stops growing. I think my dad grew well into college. He was still growing, and not to say he's tall. He's about 5'8". I'm taller than him, but he was like 5'2 going into college. That would be, f 
that'd be insane. Not nah, that that's an exaggeration. I know he's listening to this, but that's an exaggeration. He was probably more five five, maybe something like that. So if you're seventeen, sixteen in high school, and you're still worried for some reason that you're not growing, I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't know why you would be worried. Please don't be worried because one on average. The height is like 5'8", and anywhere from 5 foot to 5'8", it's pretty healthy. Like, it's healthier than being probably 6 foot or above. Ooh, so don't even worry about that. Don't even worry. And it's a myth. You can go as hard as freaking possible in the gym, get yoked, and just blow off all your testosterone on those weights and not even have to care about stunning growth. It's all about genetics these days, yeah? So... That's going to do it for Is It BS. That was the first trending Reddit article, Reddit, subreddit. I really get the, the subreddit, I get the Reddit lingo kind of wrong. I'm not, uh, I'm not that frequent of a Reddit user, to be honest, but I really like the site. If they want to sponsor me, go ahead and sponsor me, because up next... We got Be Amazed. Be Amazed. I'm not sure if this is even going to work for a podcast, but Be Amazed. This is not going to work for a podcast. This is all visual stuff, and I can't really describe visual things. So next, we've got Am I the Asshole? I quite like this one, Am I the A-Hole, because... Frankly, I am an a-hole, and I like to be an a-hole sometimes just for fun, just for shits and giggles. So let's let's see if if I guess on this this subreddit, the little the little acronym is A I T A. Am I the a-hole? First up on the hot list, the hot list. Am I the b-hole? Am I the a-hole? For telling my wife that when she quits her job to be a SAHM? What the heck is that? Stay at home mom. Oh, we're learning all kinds of things here on Reddit. Stay at home mom. A S H S A H M. What about S A H D? That's what I'm gonna be. Fee. I don't know what that I don't know why I said fee, but fool? I don't know. Why, why, why are they mad? Am I the asshole for telling my wife that when and if she quits her job to be a stay-at-home mom, I am not planning to do much in the way of household chores anymore? Huh, well, this is a tough one. I'm not going to read what they said. I'm going to take their initial statement, and I'm going to blanket that statement over everything that he said, and we're going to make a decision right here, right now. So... Frankly, my mom was kind of a stay-at-home mom when I was little, but we still did chores. But my dad, my dad never did household chores. He always did the uh, the lawn care and the car care and like anything with the house building fixing, which is not cleaning. So I think. If you want to go by domestic, domesticated standards and norms in America, which is honestly super wrong because the man can stay at home too, but I guess if there's a parent, a, a, an adult at home with the kids who isn't going to do anything all day except read their novels, then, you know, why not put a little bit of time into doing some household chores, Right. You know, if you get it done during the day, your your husband or wife's going to be more happy. You know, your kids are going to be happy because the house is clean. They can make it dirty again. It's something to do besides just reading your mystery novel uh, and watching Ellen and Oprah all day. Because um, no offense to Ellen and Oprah, they're great gals and inspirational, but... Uh, as much as they can tell you what to do and t- motivate you to do things, you got to get off your butt and do things. So 
you know, maybe just doing a little chores during the day is, is like good for the whole family. So, you know, I don't, I don't really think you're, it's like that much. I, I, first off, I wouldn't say you're an asshole. Like there's no way you're an asshole for saying, uh, I don't think I'm going to do chores anymore. You're going to be home all day and you know, you don't have a job. It's not like you're supporting the family. Like your job is kind of to be at home and take care of the home, right? Take care of the kids, take care of the home. So maybe it's more, you know, it's not really uh, being an a-hole telling her that. I'm not sure if, if she's going to agree. That's a, that's a thing. Like to tell her that initially is different from actually doing that. And honestly, you should probably pitch in on the weekends and stuff by doing lawn care and fixing things around the house and trying to improve the house because over time, you have to better your household in order to increase its value in the long run. So fixing little things, adding little additions to your house throughout time, probably a good idea just to do on the on the weekends and stuff so maybe this person should compromise a little bit more and compromise and say if you do the household chores I'll on the weekends fix something and then you don't have to do the household chores but you're still getting things done and if you didn't do household chores to begin with you're just screw you you're you're an a-hole to begin with so moving on We've got a next one on Am I the A-Hole? All right. Alone Pilot 5. Well, that's a depressing username. Am I the A-Hole, A-I-T-A, for requesting to be seated away from my family with children, including one with special needs child, due to their noise level, causing them to leave the restaurant? What? They want to be seated away from the family? Oh, this is a different, this is a different person. They're requesting to be seated away from a family who has these, these noise level problems. Um, you know, you might be an a-hole if you make it obvious and make it like a big deal. But I think it's like one thing that a lot of the families know that their child is like kind of noisy it's going to embarrass the family to begin with if you move away and obviously it's kind of making a scene if you're already eating and moving away but to request it right off the bat is not really that bad it's not a big deal you're just trying to enjoy your time and if they're going to get in your way of enjoying your time then you know by all means, go ahead. If you're out and about at a restaurant, you're trying to enjoy yourself. Like you're spending the money to go out to eat. You should, you should treat yourself and, and not have to kind of deal with that. Uh, if you're already sitting down though, it's kind of bad if you just get up and leave or tell the waiter, Oh, look at those people. I really don't like that. You know, that's obviously embarrassing for the other family. And in that case, you just have to power through and just kind of focus on yourself. But, yeah, I don't think you're an a-hole for requesting to be seated. I feel like these people on Am I the A-Hole are, are kind of over over overanalyzing situations a little bit. <laughs> We've got a good one up next. Am I the a-hole for being upset the love of my life gave me a shitty proposal? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So they were in the Finger Lakes for New York, New Year's and in New York. Oh no. Oh no. This guy. So they were in the Finger Lakes and the person, the wife, or the fiance, she already knows. <laughs> like, she already knows where it is and everything. She saw it on Snapchat. Ah, oh, jeez. She saw it on Snapchat, and the guy had said he had it planned. 
She saw it on Snapchat days before it actually happened. Okay, guys. I can almost already answer this one. No, you're not the asshole for being upset because you, if you're trying to keep something secret, you don't post anything on social media. If you post anything on social media, who do you think is the first person who's going to look at it? The love of your life. The love of your life is the first person who wants to see anything that you post and everything that you post. So if you post anything, they're going to see it. It's not a secret well, anymore. Why would you do that? This, yeah, so I would be upset too, but let's keep going. Apparently they were a little bit drunk because because they had been hitting wineries all day. That sounds pretty fun to be honest, but I don't know if drunk is the right state to be in when you're getting proposed to. I, I would want to be in a clear mind or I would want my person to be in a clear mind to make a right decision. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you know, it's it's kind of like a guarantee, I guess, if you're proposing. You already can, basically, you should know that they're going to say yes. If you're proposing and you have any doubt, eesh, you know, I would not do it. I would not do it at all. Uh, so they walked to the waterfall, which she already knows is the waterfall because he said he had it planned and he posted it on Snapchat like a fool, like a straight up fool. And he got it. He said, I don't want to take advantage of a drunk girl, but will you marry me? Oh, dear God. He got down on one knee with a ring. That was it. No nice things about how much he loves me. And she said yes. And they started walking back to the car. And and she asked what her parents said. Because she had told the guy before that she wanted him to ask them. And he didn't ask them. He said he chickened out. Okay. This is spicy. Okay, this is real spicy here. So, so the, the oh my gosh, y'all, this is spicy, spicy hot. Oh man, this guy is so dumb. Oh, I feel bad for this woman. I don't know why she said yes. Oh, that's sad. So she specifically stated to the guy that she needed him to ask her parents. And what does he do? He, he doesn't even ask them. And then when she asks him if she asks if... if <laughs> oh, God, this is so funny. When she asked him if he had asked her parents, he told her he chickened out. Oh, my gosh. How are you going to... What are you going to go to? Oh my gosh. How do you chicken out? Do you not even know them? Do you not know them? Chickened out. Well, if you're chickening out, why are you chickening out? Is it because you're just a bad person and you're afraid that the parents are going to say no? And in that case, you shouldn't be marrying the person in the first place because their parents probably know best what what's for their kid. And... I mean, if you're chickening out, you probably don't love her enough because if you love her enough, you'd probably do anything to to get them for the rest of your life, right? So, I mean, this this is riddled riddled with with being upset. And they are certainly not an a-hole for being upset. This is sad. I'm kind of sad for the person because they just got screwed. I mean, she probably really loves the guy and and all that and all and a bag of chips, you know. Oof, oof. Moving on. Well, well, well. We find ourselves in another article. Am I the asshole for asking, not expecting my significant other to relieve me of my debt, three thousand euros, which is about uh, three thousand four hundred dollars, U.S. dollars. After she won 100,000 euros in a raffle. In a raffle. So here we have, we have a couple. They're 20 and 19. 20 is the male, 19 is the, the female. And it looks like the male 
bought a new car, spent pretty much all of his savings on getting a license and a car, and guess what? He goes out and he f fucking totals the bitch. Like, he, 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 I don't know what he did. It's some sort of engine or, or total body malfunction. It's a serious malfunction. He has to spend 3,000 euros to fix it. And this is in Europe, obviously, you know, the, the English, um, the English, is, or, or it's not in England. I'm not sure where they're from. They, they apparently... Don't speak English as their first language, though, which is interesting. So 3,000 euros down the bucket, just tossed into the bucket, into the can. And now they're in, in debt, and they don't they need the 3,000. He's, he's, he needs the 3,000 because he spent all of his life savings on getting the car in the first place, which I disagree. He should not have gotten the car in the first place. He should have just biked to work or some something. He said he was tired of taking public transportation uh, for short visits, uh, but he asks his girlfriend after his girlfriend might add one one hundred thousand dollars in a euros in a raffle. She just won it in a raffle. I don't know what kind of nineteen year olds are playing raffles in Europe. I don't know what kind of shenanigans they're on going to bingo and shit. I don't. I don't even know. But they just won 100,000 euros. That's a lot of money right there, buddy. Um, and so the guy's like, hey, hey, girlfriend, hey, significant other, can I have 3,000 of your 100,000 so that I can pay off, pay for my car and pay off your debt? Because she just won like 100,000. And he's going to have to pay her back. So he's like, hey, can I just not pay you back? You just had 100000 You just want it? And you're my significant other? And she's like, uh-uh. Uh, he uh, uh. She's like, oh, no. Oh, no. She goes, I am not going to do that. And he he tries to, you know, explain his himself. And he says... If it was me, I would want to give you the money because I really like you and or, or something like that. He's like, I would be nice enough to give you the money. And she says, oh, oh. she says, I'm just not somebody like you. Oh, hoo, hoo. damn. So this person just got smacked in the mouth. He, she just bitch slapped this kid, right? This 20 year old kid. Right into the gutter. She's like, nah, -uh, I'm not somebody like you who gives away money to their significant other. Oh my gosh. One, personally, personally, one, I would give them 3000 If there's my significant other, I give them 3000 you know, with the debt, with the debt, well, like willingly, willingly, you know. And and if I got a hundred thousand, three thousand is like three percent, and they're my significant other, and that would like make their life. That would seriously make their life. They're dumb broke. They don't have any money, and she just goes, "Uh uh, I'm rich. I'm a rich bitch now." Damn, like this person sucks. <laughs> they they're an awful <laughs> human being. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And he felt like seriously disrespected and and he was like you just disrespected me and and he like confronted her about it and <laughs> she, dude this bitch I swear. Oh man. He felt deeply disrespected by the way she answered uh after he like tried to rationalize with her to get 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 her to pay, just like give him the three thousand, and she just started calling him an a hole and told him to fuck off, <laughs> and didn't talk to him again. Oh my gosh! So, so that's the story. 
And the question is, am I the asshole for asking, not expecting my so significant other to relieve me of my debt? 3000 after she won 100000 in some random ass raffle. Whew. Yeah, you're not the you're not the a hole for asking. I don't think you're the a hole. Not and he even adds not expecting. You're definitely not an a hole for asking. Maybe he shouldn't have got so butt hurt or salty that he that he didn't get the money that she didn't give him the money. But I mean, you can't really like you can't really expect. Somebody just give you three thousand dollars or three three thirty four hundred to be frank. You can't just expect somebody to get that's a lot of money for a twenty year old to be honest, unless they've been working their entire freaking life. And so I don't think you're the a hole for asking. You you're the a hole for trying to uh, force her maybe a little bit if you did. And he even adds after the situation cooled down. He thinks that he is the a-hole. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to do do so. Um, he didn't want to like guilt trip the, the woman into giving him money. And, and the relationship, he says, should have been more about the, like the confines of how each other describe it, which is weird in my opinion, because you should find common ground or middle ground in a relationship, but he's like, yeah, you have to deal with the limits that your partner puts on the relationship. And I, you know, that's true, but there should be compromise in our relationship for it to be healthy. So this is clearly not a healthy relationship. I don't know. Like this is some skank. (laughs) Like This is some skank going and playing bingo at and winning like a hundred K I don't know what kind of bingo this this is, but she just won the freaking lotto. Doesn't want to give away 3% to her boyfriend. That's kind of... Uh, she's the a-hole for sure. Yep. Yep. That's going to do it for Am I the Asshole. And, and we just wrecked. We just wrecked it. We destroyed it. The next trending... Community is DIY, not DI letter I, DI WHY, DIY. And this is just a conglomeration of weird DIYs. I'm going to describe them to you, and they're funny. They're pretty good. Uh, Yeah, they're like, they're pretty much like, why? Like, why would you even do this? Okay, so this DIY is titled, or DIY is titled Too Bright for Sleeping. First off, you need a Coke bottle. You gotta take two Coke bottles, take the caps off. And second, you're gonna need a paper clip and two rubber bands. You want to get a hot glue gun, make a nose piece out of the paper clip, Put, put, put the bottle caps sort of on the nose piece for your eyes, and then super glue the rubber bands to the sides of the caps, and then you have a blindfold to sleep with. I really see the the utilization of this for airplanes. Oh my god, y'all should y'all should see this. This is the goofiest looking thing I've ever seen. He's wearing two bottle caps as a blindfold and they don't even cover his entire eye and he's using a paper clip he hot glue gunned a paper clip he hot glue gunned a paper clip the next video is brought to you by Klaxon AK and it's ho to make your personality more visible these are these are Asian people they take a croc looking flip flop and super glue at the DIY channel we really like super glue they super glued a croc to the top of like a pump and put balloons on the other ends and guess where they put the balloons they put them in their shirt (laughs) and every time they take a step guess what happens to the balloons the balloons 
expand. So the title, how to make, how to, <laughs> how to make your personality more visible, really makes sense, and I think this is a good DIY. Oh man, they're having a ball in time. Every time they take a step, it's just like, hello there. Why hello? Okay, the last one on DIY. After we close out of this ad, I hate advertisements. Ad closed by Google. See you later, buddy. Okay, I'm sorry. I get frustrated. The DIY is now your beer will taste even better. That is the caption. And basically, what they do is they take a Heineken. Oh, they tried to put the cap, a bottle cap, back onto the Heineken bottle, and they spilled it everywhere. So their solution. They're do it yourself. They're do it. The do it your it it why you put a rubber band. No, not even a rubber. Band. You stick a balloon into the bottle. You stick a balloon around the top and shove the little bit into the bottle, and then you can put the cap back on. It doesn't spill. Genius, right? Just shove a balloon in your beer. If you can't finish a beer, you should not open one. Point blank. Now your beer will taste even better. And this was brought to you by Heineken, not not legit. It was brought to you by me, the, the Joe Miller. I am the Joe Miller on the Joe Miller show, and that's gonna end it for the 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 DIY. And I really see why it's called DIY, like DIY. Because I was questioning my sanity watching any of those DIY videos. And you should go check those out because there's plenty of DIY videos. It's a big community, huge community, large community. Now we're going to move on to our next category, our next subreddit. And it is called Expectations versus reality let's see what happens here for the first one for the first expectation versus reality we have a caption it's a man sitting at a desk he's typing on his computer and he's got this kind of uh this kind of uh face he's like uh huh and he's looking off to the side and the caption reads man returns to work after vacation with fresh re-energized hatred for job and I really, really like that. This next one really, really hits home with me. And I think a lot of you could relate to it. Uh, you can you can let me know. However, when you get something from the restaurant, from the fast food place, like a chicken sandwich, a cheesy bacon chicken sandwich, does it, this is just, this is just a question for all the, the listeners, does the chicken sandwich cheesy and it has to be cheesy bacon chicken right i mean that's the only type of chicken sandwich that you're willing to get cheesy bacon chicken sandwich does it ever ever and i mean ever ever look as good and as appetizing as you see it on tv i would have to say yes wow i think a lot of you would say would say no because this expectation versus reality post is about the cheesy bacon chicken sandwich i'm not sure where you can get it maybe hardy's it looks pretty nasty for you and looks like you it would give you some some sort of cancer as soon as you put it in your body but and and, and there's two pictures one looks delicious it looks like the one you see on tv right the other one is a pile of crap and they just shoved it into a baggie uh you know, the bun looks pretty saucy, pretty, looks pretty sexy, a little shine, a little glow, looks like it put on a little makeup, but the the contents, the contents are are utterly disgusting and a disgrace to the facility itself. But however, however, did I say did I say does it ever look as good? Did I say Yes, it does sometimes look as good as it is on TV. Yes, it does. It's a nice little facility, a nice little joint called McDonald's. <gasps> McDonald's. 
oh my gosh, you never thought about it. You never really thought about it. But McDonald's, when they put it that little sandwich in the little box, it kind of does look like the one on TV. It kind of does. It really kind of does. Not to say, like, the Whopper, definitely no. But whatever one they put in that little box, that fresh, that nice little cardboard piece of crap box, you know, I, I say it does look like the one on TV. Good enough, right? Good enough, good enough for me. Expectation versus reality. And you know what you know what I'm saying? I'm Tupac over here. Not really. I think Jay Z would have a problem with you and me. You know? Hate is hate, play is play. You know? Nah, you y'all y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all don't know. But you know what? That's the end of our show today. Ah, oh, it's been a good one. We spent a good time on Reddit. We had a fun time on Reddit. Those 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 a hole ones, they really put me for a loop. That one with the car, what the heck? Don't don't you get yourself a broad who who wins the lotto and doesn't want to throw you some spare change, you know, a little pocket change for your for your sins. Don't don't you get you abroad like that though. All right. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Enough of that and enough of this. We will see you on the next one. I hope you listen and continue to listen for the next one. We'll be putting it out soon. We'll be putting it out shortly if you're listening to these on the day they come out. That's great. I love you so much and I respect you for listening along. And with that, I like to say Adieu. I'd like to say ciao, bonjour, adios, amigos, and goodbye.